If you guys can hear me, I'm so sorry. Um, everything is breaking. So give me a sec. Sorry guys, one second, I'm talking to the doctor. Hopefully we'll get this fixed really soon, you guys. Okay, you guys, um, that should do it, hopefully. Um, one second while we get the game itself running. Okay, this, it's not popping up, so we need to go to game capture. Um, this should work. It should. Not sure why it's not working. Close the game and restart it. Yeah, we'll have to just restart it. Um, 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 let's see. Okay, so of course, ghost, Thornton Hall. Let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. Dare to play. Oh, they're, oh, okay, I'm fine there. Fix it. All right. Fix it. Yep, you're fine. Go ahead. I'm frozen. Oh, no. Nancy might have broken VTube Studio. Huh. The aspect ratio is wrong. This is the best I can get for you. Well, that's probably going to be fine. If I can get my model working. We're kind of back, you guys. I'm so sorry. We are kind of back. Yeah. I think it broke V-Bridger. Yeah, V-Bridger is busted. It's not even connected to your phone anymore. Mm -hmm. Your phone isn't even sending. Yeah, my phone's not How sending. Did it break your phone. I don't know. <laughs> Nancy, what the frick? I know. What did Nancy do? Okay, let's restart this. Oh no. What? What in the ever-loving crap? Hold on. Before the doctor starts screaming. There we go. There. Now it's working. Okay. Okay. I'm working now. <laughs> it's for nothing, Nancy. <laughs> This is oh why nobody God. streams Nancy. This is why nobody streams Nancy. Cursed. She's cursed. Leave my girl alone. No. <laughs> so apparently, um, oh, doctor, there's no game audio. So, um, <laughs> welcome to the scuffiest stream on earth. No, I've seen worse. Uh, welcome to the scuffiest stream, you guys. Right there, there's Ghost no of... game audio because there's no game audio. Wait, is it working now? Yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> okay, you guys. <laughs> Let's finally get into it. Let me see if I can... Let's see. I want to make sure that you guys can see this. Oh, I guess we can't see below that point. Okay, you guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We are going to be playing Ghost of Thornton Hall. <laughs> 
No, we're not playing Kill It With Fire. We're playing uh, Kill It With Fire on Sunday, Jacob. That is for our variety stream. Um, I have seen the certain worse by, uh, by a certain monarch, <laughs> have you? <laughs> um, hi, mom. Oh, hi, Emily. Welcome, welcome. Okay, you guys, we're finally gonna get into Nancy Drew. Welcome, and let's get into it. All right, so. <laughs> We are going to be a master sleuth today because, um, let's put on our, our big girl pants and do really well with this. Why is my volume not very high for this game? I feel like it's so low. I feel like it's so low for this. Oh, poor Glenn. I'm so sorry. You are welcome to come back and watch the VOD anytime. <laughs> We're going to do, um... Okay, let's answer the phone. Uh, what time is it? Late. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan? I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. So, Nancy Drew, we never get to see her face, by the way. Never. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for well, your Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Okay, so Nancy Drew, point and click game. Adventure, let's go. We never see Nancy Drew's face. In the first, like, um, I don't know, I don't remember how many games there are, like 30 something games. Same voice, voice actress every time. When her interactive sold their company, they have a brand new voice actress for her now. I love clans classic Nancy Drew. Okay, we're just gonna check to see if there's anything we should just be picking up. No. Super spooky. Um, should we even be checking right or left? Let's see what's over here. Ooh, scavenger list. 21 items to search and find. A, a spot a bat. Find mom's portrait. Find a not broken full window. Huh. There's an epitaph hunt? Interesting. Find a painting with a horse. Photo of a skeleton. Read a book about the family. Open the crypt. This is an interesting scavenger hunt, even for Nancy Drew. So Nancy Drew is a skeptic. She does not believe in ghosts. Um, letter T. I have never played Ghost of Thornton Hall, by the way. I've played a lot of Nancy Drew games. I have not played this one. Um, I don't want to wander too far. I probably should be going to the main building. Hey! Oh! You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Who's this? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. 
What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. What did you just say? No, <laughs> that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living? Hi, Hellringer. Welcome. Did I pray? <laughs> Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Emily, are you getting weirdo vibes from this guy? Ooh, there's a package sent from Amazon? From Amazon? Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiance. <laughs> Emily. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any of the <laughs> Downcast, you're so cute. Verifiably real people? No. It's okay, Sonic. We're not dating him, so it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Clara, that's Jasmine's mother. Colton's her fiance. Anyone else uh, alive? Or Do you know Savannah? You've got to know Savannah. I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. Ooh, did you guys date? Are you guys old lovers? How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carry these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. I already hate this guy. I want to punch him. <laughs> All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Not the family Birth, book of names. Deaths, marriage and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Family history. Why indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. Okay, let me read chat really quick. Marmo, how to use two models at once. There's a way. I just don't remember how. I don't know how to make tutorials, man. V-Mom, I got a scar on my shoulder from a shower. See, I do everything like... Wait, how did you get a scar from a shower? I'm going to give a real mystery. Where are his decaps went? <laughs> Thornton sounds like the name of like an old steam engine. That's so funny. I don't like being on, on this island with him. Hellbringer, I'm so glad that you're a big fan. He definitely has a red room with photos of Savannah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. No worries, Bruce. Have fun. So this is called Ghost of Thornton Hall, and it's a Nancy Drew game. It's a point-and-click sort of game. Do we have a family book of names? Actually, Emily, that would be so cute to eventually have, like, a family tree. Wouldn't that be cute? Halen, I already like this game. Good. Rick! Hello, how are you? The answer is always donuts. You're so funny, Billy Donuts. I'm gonna go to bed soon. No worries, Hellbringer. I hope you had a fun time so far. Um, and with some friends. Okay, Riku, will you take care of yourself? Be safe, okay? Make good choices. Make sure to come home safe and sound, yes? I'm so sad, Mama. I won't be able to see your stream on Tuesday. I've gotta go out of town. Oh, it's okay, Glenn. No worries. Um, I don't know, but it's like the one billionth time this has happened. I'm so sorry, Crimson. Um, so you oh, met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her. Maybe she'll tell you about it. Mm. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. Mm. In the end... The landing was just as rough. You guys broke up bad. He was like, uh, don't mention it. No, no, no. It was a long time ago. No, no, no. Um, you, <laughs> homebro liked her down bad. <laughs> down bad. He was down bad for her. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died. That's when oh, something Glenn, I'm sorry. new came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing. 
The Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The mm. evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I'm intrigued by him, but we're not going to date him. Good. And now? What do you think? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're right. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. Seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood. And not always our own. What? And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Uh, let's... We're gonna go. I better get going. Later. Yeah, late later. Bruce Lee no Thornton. Need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Who? Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Who? Don't know. When Clara was about 10, Rosalie got real sick. Every day, Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Rosalie wouldn't say anything to Clara about her daddy. <laughs> this is some spicy tea. <laughs> this is some tea. I don't know if he's a Thornton. Wanna hear a ghost? What? Check it out. Uh, have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. Dang, Missy! Don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. <laughs> like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. He's passionate. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts <laughs> because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid, makes you smart. If it's muddy. Okay. He's really passionate about his boots, you guys. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. That's so wild. Bye. Get on out of here now. Mama, who's our dad? Listen, you don't need to know that. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like Clara's mom over here, Rosalie. You don't need to know who your daddy is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of that sound, Mama. Can we please leave? Okay, let's let's get out of here. The guy's so mean. Ruby Newton. What does this say? A spank at birth, a flame in life, a quiet ember in the night. Interesting. Profound. Maybe a little deep. There's Rosalie's tomb, and someone may Newton. We're gonna have to figure out who died here. Harper Thornton. Harper Stone. Harper? Who's Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad, he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. Dang! Sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. So her, her grandpa just put a gravestone and was like, yeah, to teach you a lesson, um, we're just going to keep this gravestone up because we thought you were dead. And um, you can sit here and think about what you did. Even though she's alive. Like, this family is full of tea. Full of tea. Um, this is crazy. This Ma one is my 
favorite. Why is that? Yeah, why? Who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In what? the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. We got a spy in the family. The Thornton family, this land. Right? Are we gonna be okay? Exactly, Hellbringer. Like what? What? I'm so I'm so curious at like the tea in this family. This this family has some tea, some tea. Okay, let's go up. Gorgeous dress. Love that for her. Thornton Cemetery. Estimated... Oh, established 1866. This plaque honors those who found their final rest beyond the family grounds, including Franklin Hort Thornton. Uh, B. May 4th, 1895. October 25th, 1917. Defending his nation. Dedicated January 15th, 1918. Okay, okay, okay. I can read. It's fine. Hmm. More graves. Roger Drummond's. Roger Marie, side by side. He's a stalker. He's going to tell us all the family history. To the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. So sad. Okay. Uh, is the tea made out of peppers? Because <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Kyle. How are you? You brought tea and cookies? You're so sweet. Uh, Hellbringer, I get home at 3.30 or 3.35 from school. That's nice. Here's Mariana Thornton. There's a crack in the gravestone. Side by side till the day they died. It's an interesting sort of gravestone here. Okay. Um, Let me turn around and see if there's anything else on this floor. Ooh, there's a fountain over here. Doo -doo -doo. Sometimes you just have to check to see if there's anything hidden. This is a gorgeous fountain. Gorgeous. Gorgeous water feature. This is probably going to be um, a place with secrets at some point. Um, we can't interact with it at all, really. Okay, well, uh, that's fine. Wait, hold on. Sometimes you just have to... No? Interesting. Okay, I can't... Nothing here? Okay. We, we always have to double check. So when your um, little magnifying glass lights up, usually indicates some kind of clue or something. It looks like here is a mausoleum. Oh boy. Are we going to have to give you something? This is cool. Okay. Um, locked. Of course it's locked. Okay, guys, this is a common Nancy Drew um, <laughs> sentence. She's always telling us that things are locked. Um, Mama, can I get a sugar cookie? Of course. Of course you can. Who's stealing my job of giving Mama treats? <laughs> okay. Okay. So it looks like we've seen all of the gravestones here. What was that? Creepy music. Lee Thornton. Virginia. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Oh, he's a Thornton too. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. That's cute. Poor guy, he lost his mama. He's got mommy issues. Luther Atchison. My daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. So it goes. <laughs> temper, but a soft heart and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, daddy. <laughs> Billy, I'm here to spread paranoia and donuts. Um. <laughs> Let's see if we can go... Is there anything else we can look at over here? Or no? I I want to look at that grave, but it's not letting me. If we go to the right, no. Hold on. I, you have to be a little careful with these. Hi. 
Um, do you have a key yeah, to the key to the crypt? Sorry. Do I want ramen? That's so nice of you, B. Yes, bring me ramen. I'll try some. Um, so can I say, Mama, you're looking rather exquisite today. I was told I should compliment people more. You will get anything you want. Flattery will get you everywhere with Mama. Are you kidding me? That is so sweet of you to say. What a cutie pie you are, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Sonic, what what did what what's your question? What's Bye. your question? Later. Okay, this this one, Ruby Newton. We've looked at this one. Okay, we've seen all the graves, I do believe. Okay, anything gonna jump out at us from the shadows? We should probably check out the house here. Do do do. Anything here? Anything there? Jessalyn? Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. Who's this? No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. You're sneaky. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. He seems like a slime ball. I found it in the house. I'll take that. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Inquisitive energy. Man, um, he doesn't know that we're freaking Nancy Drew. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. Right. I know. I remember it like it was just moments. <laughs> what? What are you guys saying in chat? Today implies she was exquisite before. Mama's always been exquisite. Downcast. What a flatterer. Um, what are you guys saying? Do you like my profile pic? It's wonderful, Hellbringer. Emily, only guys with no time are dumb enough to come here. Pours pumpkin spice cocoa into cups. <gasps> Glenn, Glenn, bring that here. Mama, I can cook your homemade ramen. Thank you, Halen. Oh my goodness. That is so, you guys are so sweet. Just handing out all these snacks. Chacha, don't fall for it. You're not immune to pro downcast propaganda. <laughs> Downcast is really good at rizzing Mama up. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> all, 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 all of the children who, who who know the right buttons to press for Mama. <laughs> Mama, I will fight you after giving you ramen. Really behaving? <laughs> really? <laughs> you're gonna fight me? Oh, Crimson, you're so sweet. See you later. Later. Oh, the the, the creepy music right after. So apparently the Thorntons are loaded, but they don't do a lot of upkeep with their house at all. What is going on here? Let's see if there's any, anything of note. What? Uh, is it really windy today? Why was this, why was this moving and not anymore? Well, well, well. I'll take that. Uh, anything else? Mm. Let's go in the door. Can we go to the left? No, just the stairs. I don't want to go up the stairs just yet. Oh, what's here? A vase that was broken. Uh, hello? Oh, some lady you must be nancy yes hmm. you must be clara jessalyn's mother yes 
I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, Han. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact... Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. Guys, who's Wade? Is Wade the fiancé or the ghost hunter? But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Guys, I don't remember. Are we... <laughs> is Wade the ghost hunter or the fiancé? Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Hmm. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this- Wait, the fiancé thinks on it. But we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's Co like oh, one moment. someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jesse wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Okay, um... Kyle, so the blue dress will make an appearance on special occasions. That is my special occasion blue dress. So, um, I think we'll probably have the blue dress on for like watch hour goals, reward streams, special occasions like Christmas, New Year's, um, stuff like that. So that's when the, the special occasion dress comes out, the blue one. Mama, I sent, I got assets to send to you. Oh, thank you. And I'm sending you a game. You're sending me a game, Marmo. You're so cute. You got a cow ghost for me. Marmo, you're so cute. Um, Mom, I have to leave in a few minutes. Oh, Glenn, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we just talked to Wade. Okay. I wonder what would happen if we dial the number. We'll, we'll get to the dialing of the number. We're just talking to the NPCs. I have five more cups of pumpkin spice cocoa. Mm, who are you going to give them to, Glenn? Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance... Okay, Marmo, we'll play it. Cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. Yeah, it does seem like it's an old southern plantation, doesn't it? Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hun, he had some issues, but they worked through them. Hmm. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. Uh, Kyle for the chibi model. Um, <laughs> if, if people wanted to do um, another reward watch hours goal to see the chibi model again, I could probably bring the chibi model out again. Um, I don't like bringing out Chi Chi all the time. <laughs> Mostly because um, I personally think she's an abomination. But if you guys love her, I can bring her out for another watch hour goal. So um, maybe at the 2000 hour mark, if you guys really want to see her again. Oh, I didn't even think about spending Christmas with Mama. Now I'm excited for Christmas. Yes, Emily. Um, it's a horror game. Okay, Marmo. We should definitely play it this month then. If it's a horror game, I want to do um, horror games for Halloween for sure. You named her? No, I didn't even name her Chi Chi. Like my cutie pies all named her Chi Chi. It wasn't even me. She's only named Chi Chi because chat named her Chi Chi. So <laughs> Luna's over here like Chi Chi is better than Cha Cha. <laughs> oh, Glenn, you're so sweet passing out all that hot cocoa. Mom, I live in the South and have heard the name Bayou Folktale. This is a plantation house. Yeah, it probably is. I love how Chi Chi looks. You do, Gabriel? Don't put Mama Chu through Chi Chi again. Chi Chi is so sweet. We need to avoid the chicken leg. 
six. Okay, well, if you guys like Chi Chi that much, we'll we'll have her for the two thousand um, hour watch goals. We'll do that because I need another watch hour goal. Yeah, send me the steam cone later for it, Marmo. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? Sonic, you did a good job. The, company. the entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. Hmm. Yeah, no worries, Marmo. Thank you for coming. See you later. See you later, hon. Okay. Can't do that right now. Ooh, we're not even supposed to be over there. Oh, you're gonna look at me, huh? Let's see, what's over here? Hiram Thornton. Hiram. Hiram? Is this supposed to be Hiram? Because I don't think that's how you spell Hiram. Hiram is an interesting name. I don't think I've heard that name before. What's going on here? We probably have to find something. Espionage in a bonnet. Female secret agents of the Civil War. This is cool. Ooh. Shall I read? Let's see. So we have different people. Rose Greenhow, Belle Boyd, Harriet Tubman, Elizabeth Van Lu, Sarah Emma, Emma Emmons. This is so cool. Female secret agents of the Civil War. This is awesome. The female agents were used spy tech of the 1860s, such as ciphers, invisible inks, secret compartments, and even the rumored self-destructor, which would destroy its own contents if opened incorrectly, to prove that women were as capable as men when it came to espionage. That's cool. Probably have to come back to that later. The Long Cold Night on Black Rock. The three years of plenty would soon be upon Thornton clan, but they would not come without a price. In order to keep a close watch on production facility, Jeb had a small factory built on the Black Rock property. He did not foresee the potentially disastrous possibilities. When the winds grew cold and the waves made passage back to the mainland difficult, the workers were granted permission to stay overnight in the factory. None survived. Sarah was the first to enter the factory the morning after the accident and never recovered from the shock of what she found within. Many within the town held Sarah in high regard for her open, kind nature. The employees in particular had an unwavering appreciation for Sarah, who had taken on the role of caregiver once the factory moved onto the island, affectionately calling her Nana. That's so cute. She'd visit the factory twice a day with bread and treats, even offering a warm bed in the main house to any employee who fell ill. Shortly after the tragic, wow, this music is crazy. It's going hard. Shortly after the tragedy, Jeb f began construction of a housing unit for inclement weather and immediately restaffed the factory despite Sarah's wishes. While Jeb seemed justifiably upset, he was determined to maintain the family business no matter what. When the new employees arrived on the island, Sarah retired to her room, refusing to leave until her death a few le years later. It's been said that a handwritten note found in her pocket read, We have sown the black seeds of death, and forevermore will harvest only blood. Evidence suggests that this note may have been fabricated, but the chilling message remains an, a popular element of Thornton lore. Lore! Lore! The long, cold night on Black Rock. Jeb was hit hard by the loss of his wife, but remained steadfast in his attempts to grow the family business into something worth the tragic cost of all the lives that had been taken. Jeb's drive became somewhat of a family trait after his passing of a year, a few late years later, as did Sarah's discomfort when the, with the business. In the generations to come, a dogged dedication to the company, or queasiness with their ill-gotten wealth, became the two defining characteristics of the Thornton clan. Even the most beloved family members eventually had to choose a side. That's probably what they meant. What the guy meant, Wade, when he said that they were split in half. That's interesting. 
huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, well, well. Lore! But that's just a theory, a Nancy theory. <laughs> Mama, when I see you, my, my arachnophobia goes away. <laughs> Why do I look like a spider? <laughs> this is Jeb and this is Sarah Wakeman. So they both married, making the Thornton clan. Um, can I go over here more? No. Nay and barely. That's fine. Ooh, what's over here? More secrets? More secrets? There's a piano. Can I not look at the piano? <gasps> Tea? Oranges. Why do I need oranges? Uh, a kerchief? Okay. We can make tea for people? Um, hello? This is cute. <laughs> that's, that's adorable. We can make ourselves tea! What? Mama, who's our daddy? You don't need to know that. Mama, please give out the last three cups of pumpkin, pumpkin spice cocoa to someone. I have to go. No worries. Guys, if anyone would like some pumpkin spice cocoa, courtesy of Glenn, um, it is out here. And anyone can take some. Yeah, this is going to be a tea puzzle, it looks like. Mama, when I see you, my blindness disappears. <laughs> Aelin, this is the perfect game. I'm glad you like it. But I want to know who our daddy is, Mama. Oh, but that is an important sweetheart. That isn't important. <laughs> What's important is that Mama loves you. Let's see. Can we look at the window? This this house is in a state of disrepair. It is in shambles, literally. In. This is Beauregard Thornton. It's kind of cute, Beauregard. I would regard Beauregard with that beard. Um, let's see. I still need to keep investigating. I, I It's a little hard to navigate with these. Ooh, what's going on here? Turpentine. Turpentine for thinning paints and varnishes and enamels. Cool. Um I don't think he is because mom is not saying where dad is. <laughs> Mom is out loving and caring crime boss. Uh, what did the cowboy Chibi say? Chi cha. Like yeehaw. Chi cha. Wow, Luna. Get it? Cha cha. Yeah, I get it. Mama is dead. <laughs> uh, no, you're beautiful. That's the reason. I only care for mama and mama only. I'm glad you care about mama. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, Victor, if you're watching the VODs, I know that you said that you didn't want to come back to do the live streams for a while, but I miss you and I think about you. Let's see if we can look at the electricity manual. For making batteries with common household items, do it yourself. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can skim this because mama don't get, got time to read this. Um, Baghdad battery is a clay vessel, copper cylinder, iron rod. Interesting. This object is believed to be an ancient battery, so we're probably going to have to make a battery at some point. There are three main components. Two terminals of differing metals, an anode, and a negatively charged electrode known as a cathode. The third component is an electrolyte, which separates the terminals and allows the charge to flow between them. Basic design can be created out of household items. That's cool. So if we combine vinegar, salt, Cut a paper towel, soak the squares in a vinegar solution, starting with a penny, stack the pennies and nickels with a plastic plate. Interesting. Each end with a nickel on top, attach a terminal clip. Interesting. And this creates a battery. I'm telling you guys, Nancy Drew games are by far some of the most hardcore puzzle point and click style games, okay? Like, I was playing these at like 12 years old and I was always so stuck. <laughs> but like, <laughs> the, 
This the, these games go hard. They go hard. Uh, Victor said that he was taking a break from uh, live streams lately, Emily. So here's for a potato. Um, fruit. We could use fruit. Um, so aluminum soda can. Interesting. Uh, for mental for for mental health reasons, I believe. Um, I didn't pry about it. I didn't want to bother him about it. Um, but you should probably, you know, message him and tell him that you're, you know, you're thinking about him and everything for sure. What is this? Let's see, making homemade batteries. I don't have all the parts I need. Hmm. Okay, so we'll come back to this to make a homemade battery at some point. There's so much, like, random debris. This looks like a painting. I should find somewhere to place it. Okay, we'll take that. Hmm. Okay, and then... This is interesting. This is an interesting room. This is... Kind of a scary room. Hmm. Something belongs there. Pennies! Yeah, I'm gonna miss Victor. Let's see if we can... Cotton gin. Yeah, definitely an old plantation. What's this? Um, Thornton family cotton processing. This door is from the barn that housed the equipment for processing the cotton. Many a worker lost their fingers in the processing room. That's scary. That is horrifying. That didn't sound good. What? What? No! Ho, oh, um, um, anyway, we, we need to avoid that. We need to avoid dying. Holy cow. I, I died real fast. That was scary. I don't know how, th what, what in the world? So Nancy drew very, very much escape room-esque sort of game. Full of, full of the puzzles. Full of the puzzle doodles. Yeah, we died real fast that was scary i know <laughs> you died you have made a fatal error i know welcome to nancy drew games you guys that is a, a common nancy drew fail this is interesting um can we make a battery with this now wait pennies i guess we can't just place the pennies Canvas, paint thinner, oranges. Um, I guess the oranges are to make a different kind of battery. If I had to guess. And I guess we could go up... <gasps> Ghosty Doodles! That was a ghost! That was a ghost! That was a ghost! Uh, let's go up the stairs. This is crazy. This is crazy. It I know that was a ghost. Is missing. So I'm stupid, so I can't help you. So I'm just gonna leave this in the background. <laughs> Downcast. You enjoy, enjoy Mama fail at this game. Ooh, Franklin Thornton. Well, that's him. Okay, there's a briefcase and what's this? Cotton. We could probably process that downstairs, I suppose. Who or what is in here? What? Interesting. Nancy. Uh-huh. What? The Ghost of Thornton Hall. True Encounters Retold by Savannah Woodham. 
Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork back from when I was looking into Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be okay looking for Jessalyn. Is it Jocelyn or Jessalyn? Jessalyn during the day. But night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits got, get restless in more ways than one. You'll probably get more out of the family than anyway. Uh, the EMF gadget I included works pretty well on the property. I don't normally use these, but there's a strong correlation between the meter peaking and documented sightings. I know you don't like things that can't be explained, but just because it can't be explained yet doesn't mean you should disregard it. Call me up if you want to talk. I don't know what help I can offer, but I'm here if you need me. I was 14. My younger brother was about 12 at the time. I was a bit of a scrawny kid and caught more than my share of trouble on account of being of the smallest, but I was no coward and I was itching to prove it. That's when I caught wind of Charlotte. I got it in my head that if I spent the night out on the island, the kids at school would leave me alone. It doesn't make sense now, but it made a lot of sense then. I made this big deal about sneaking onto the island and everyone was interested, especially my younger brother, Sean. He demanded to come, and to be honest, I was happy to leave. I was happy to have the company. We spent a while trying to get a boat, but no one wanted to lend a boat to two kids in the middle of the night. In the, in the middle of the night, go figure, right? I knew if I hadn't made it out there, I'd never hear the end of it. I made too big of a deal out of the whole thing. I was locked in. That's when I decided that we should swim over. Anyone who grew up here knows that you don't do that. The swim's not far, but the currents. They'll smash you on the rocks or they'll pull you under. That's exactly what happened to Sean. No. On the second he was next, one second he was next to me and the next he was gone. Oh no. I panicked and dove into the water. Nothing. Again and again, nothing. But turns out he was fine. He made it to shore. I was the one in trouble. I kept going under until I got disoriented. I couldn't find which way was up. I knew that was it for me. I was going to die, and I could feel the fight going out of me. That's when I heard singing. The water around me went still, and a song started swimming its way around me, pulling me toward this thing, this woman, Charlotte. The water was ice cold, and she was turning it to steam. Smoke was pouring from her like ink under the water. I knew I couldn't die down there. I knew I had to get out of the water. I don't know what happened next. I woke up on the rocks. Then, in the hospital, I never saw her again. I've spent the rest of my life trying not to look. Um, hi, Phoenix. Welcome to chat. This is somebody else. Tagger. No eye contact. Possibly unreliable or not telling the entire story. Yeah, I saw her. It doesn't matter why I was there. Let's just say I'm an artist, underappreciated in my time and by the powers that be. I was out with a few writers I liked to run with, out in the ruins. Elle was working on her stuff like she always did. A little cute for my taste, but she is who she is. Suddenly she drops everything and is like, we gotta go right now. She said it like no drill, just run. We grabbed all of our stuff and we ran. As we were going, there wasn't smoke, but we were all choking like there was. We could smell a fire and in the distance we heard screaming. I wanted to go back, but... Elle told me that what we heard wasn't human. We all knew she was right. We got off the island. That's all it was. Skeptic, mild hesitation. Old friend. I knew her. We came up in school together. She was the smartest, prettiest, and nice. And she didn't need to be, but she was. She talked to everyone about their lives, their friends and families, and she could remember it all. We used to joke that she had the whole town in her, in her head. Maybe it was more true when we... More true than we thought. When she died, part of the town died with her. I know you want to ask about the hauntings, and rather, and rather you than someone else. I, you know, that stuff doesn't sit well with me. But you come from good people. The truth is, she was just gone. Part of me wishes she was a ghost, so I could tell her my proper goodbyes. But anyway, that's silly for two reasons, since she's been made up to be such an angry ghost. I've heard the stories, just like you did. That's not Charlotte. Not the Charlotte I'd known. There was no evil in her. Do you think what happened the night she... Do you think what happened the night she died might have changed that? It was an accident. What if it wasn't? Then she's Charlotte. She's always She always was Charlotte. 
interesting. So this is a, an account of someone who is basically saying that the personality of the ghost doesn't match up with the person that she, they knew. Hmm. In, interesting. Hi, Vera time. Hi, MJ. Oh wait, no, Halen. Halen's over on the other side. Halen, what are you doing? <laughs> wait, am I right? I don't, guys, if, if, <laughs> I'm gonna confuse all of chat. <laughs> I'm gonna confuse all of chat. Um, maybe she was hiding parts of herself. It'd be interesting. See, the creators of this game just make really good. They did make really good stories, and they 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 took parts of you know in real life concepts and stories and integrated them. Let's see. Roger was known as France. A lot of reading in this one. Bookish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As a boy, he wrote a letter. I felt sorry for myself. Should I read this? Uh, something about Mariana. If this is important, we'll come back. Thorntons of Black Rock Island. We might come back to this. Who's this guy? don't know. <gasps> Whoa, ghosty! Guys, guys. Can I back it up? 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 Your dress is lovely though. What was that? Hmm. The woman in red, like she, she was gorgeous, gorgeous ghost. Um. Another one. Wow, okay. Well, well, well. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. Ooh, can we use paint thinner? Can we use paint thinner? I can't pour this directly on the painting. Okay, well, what if I use a napkin? Hmm. Nice. Can I do it now? There's something back there. Ooh. What is that? Are those graves? Interesting. Okay, so it's basically saying that there's a grave site right over here. Someone painted over it. Okay, so if we go a little bit to our left from... Is this the... Which statue is this? Isn't this the fountain? I'm pretty sure this is the fountain. Okay. Okay. Um. Of course, it's locked. Okay. No, we can't see over there. That's fine. Let's. Can we check this? No, we can't check that out. Mm, can we see anything on this side? No. Okay. I want to go check out... Is it me or is it foggier than it was? Whatever. We're going to go see that, um, that grave site that was pointed out in the picture. Uh, hi, Wade. Um, okay. From here. Right. Yes, this is it. This is it from the painting. 54 souls. FFS, 54 souls. What does that even mean? What? That doesn't mean anything to me. What does that even mean? Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's use it here. No. This is so random. The big brain mama. <laughs> I, I don't know how big brain I'm being right now. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this information. We'll see how our um, reader does. When we check it around in different areas. 
hold on. I know I'm going a little slow. Mm. Ooh. No, interesting. Okay, so it's a lot stronger here. Crazy. Spooky, scary skeletons. What about here? Nope, this is fine. Um, if I come over here, if I, I wonder if I check out individual graves, if the radar goes crazy. Um, no, that's fine. I don't feel like this guy's going to get any Either. ghost hunting stuff over here. Hi, SCP dead man. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> oh, Emily, if you want to backseat during Nancy Drew, absolutely. I will totally take on backseat driving on Nancy Drew. Like, come play with me, honestly. Come play Nancy Drew with me. Um, this is one of those games where um, I really enjoy the backseat gaming aspect of Nancy Drew because, and maybe this is just me, but when I used to play Nancy Drew, I used to play it with my sister and we would give feedback to each other. And so she would give ideas and I would also give ideas and what we think is going on to progress the plot. So if you guys watch and you guys are like, oh, I think you should try this mama or let's do this. Absolutely. I enjoy that kind of thing with Nancy Drew. So. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte, the crack on the hidden the grave looked like the stories started to spread. The one on the other grave, hmm. playing this game to scare themselves silly, they'd turn off the lights and say, "Fire so red, night so black, dear sweet Charlotte, please come back." What? Over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. They were trying to summon her. But that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. And they tried to summon her. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk. I think he's shifty too. But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something I know it is. It is Sonic. Together. I don't know if she can see it or not. I think he's crooked too. I think you've got a good sense of like character, Wade. I like Wade. I know you guys said that you guys didn't like Wade, but I like him. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise. Okay, Crimson, I'll do that. Why? It's not a fun place and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. <laughs> I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. I'd really like to know. The nerve you got. <laughs> Nancy has all the audacity. Like, you guys will be surprised with some of the questions that she'll ask people. And you'll be like, whoa, Nancy, did you just say that? Like, do you want to get killed, Nancy? Like, Nancy has all the audacity. She is so, like, spunky. She really is. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. That's a dinosaur. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. <laughs> Emily. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Would you like to run the company? Good sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. Huh. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? 
Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None hmm. of them ever woke up again. That's so sad. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Hopper and Charlotte's cousin. Okay, Crimson. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. When did the factory accident happen? That Old. was more than a hundred years ago. Yeah, we read about that, still Nancy. can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I want to know. I do. Give us the tea. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. <laughs> We're going to get tea. Okay. Tea. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right what? in plain view of the world, and no one cared. What? I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. So you broke a machine? You must Why? be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. I'm kind of confused. So he broke a machine, and he probably got... Um, put in jail for, you know, destroying company property but why i don't understand his motivation for for destroying the machine um also mama needs to fall asleep really quick mama needs a quick break i'll be right back Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> okay. I'd better get going. Later. Okay, let's go check out the 54 souls thing. <laughs> okay, so here's the 54 souls thing. We can't use the napkin on anything. Oops. Uh, cotton, nope. 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 It doesn't even have an interactable thing either. Hammer! Hammer time! Hammer time? Nope. Dead phone? Nope. Uh, scavenger hunt? Nope. Um, let's come here. There is a crack. A napkin? No. 
this thing doesn't do anything. Pennies. I'm pretty sure that the orange and the pennies, maybe the hammer. Orange and pennies are probably battery related. Dead phone. Yeah, this isn't going to do anything. Hank, don't worry about it. No worries, no worries. Um, The unmarked grave is so wild to me. 54 souls. That's, that's, that's about it for that. It's so weird. Um, we can come over. I'll protect you all. I'm the one with the bombs. Yeah, everyone hold hands. We can't do anything here with that. I'm pretty sure we have to process this cotton as well. And we have to make phone calls. So... Let's go hang out with Wade, our home bro. And we're gonna make a call. So we have to call this girl and we have to call Savannah. So let's call Addison. Hello? Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't, I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Hmm. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. What do you think of Colt? He's a weirdo. What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it. But I couldn't tell you where it is. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. <laughs> then, things got strange. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. What door? Jess was desperate to get it open. Let's open it. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. Hmm. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but... I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's weird. That's all I know. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. Creepy. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel... Fuzzy? Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. Hot. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. <laughs> I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. 
And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the- Secrets. No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. Hmm. I'd better get going. Fine, Jess. <laughs> sorry, Aelin. I... I'm sorry. She mentioned invisible ghost, like, hand pinning her down, and I'm just like... How, how, how much are you going to complain about that? <laughs> like, man, I... <laughs> okay, I'm back at the grave with the crack. Um, what did you want to do here, Emily? It doesn't seem like there's really anything interactive that we can do at this moment. Even ghosts already invisible, though. Well, you know, um, men. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's spooky. Ooh, downcast spooky. Yeah, they got the goat whole angel of death thing in one place. That's an orange. Wait. The thing in the hall and the thing that who took her. Interesting. The thing is the hall. Had to be the thing that took her. Are you talking about Charlotte? The one with the pretty dress? Mama, it's not Kylo, man. Listen, um... It might be for later. Okay. Remember Ghostbusters when one of them is... Oh, no. <laughs> Try to be PG-13, Mama says. Hot ghost pity. <laughs> I wasn't graphic. I didn't say anything other than that. I, I didn't say anything other than that. Interesting. Anything here? That seems pretty fine. Uh, anything here? No. Do do do. Anything here? I got an achievement. Hmm. Why do I hear s oh flies? What's up? What do you think of Clara? She Hi, Lissa. She's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. Do you, Sonic? You're holding something back. So what if I am? I really don't like this guy. He's such a weirdo. better check out what's going on upstairs. Let's go check it out. Let's go investigate. What's that noise? What? Where's the creepy noise? Where is it coming from? Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. What? Even ghosts have their favorite what haunts. This means. Even ghosts have their favorite haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with dreadful meter, where dreadful meter is at its peak. Make yourself blind. Don't dare peek. Call Charlotte home and hear her speak. She may just let you live. So are we talking about the EMF and finding where the EMF reader is at its like highest point? And then we have to try and summon her. There was also that door or something that was upstairs. Hold on, I'll check it out in just a second. This is also really high. Um, at this point is high, but it's not at its highest point. So we're trying to look for the point where um, the EMF reader is like at red. Time to play that game. Here, scary humming. Let's go upstairs. How about we don't? Listen, Nancy, Nancy is a complete skeptic. She does not believe in ghosts. She does not. She's just like, um, investigate all the things. I don't see any other doors that we can go in through, Emily. So we're going to try and continue yonder. 
Can we... Hello. I saw something really strange. Uh, it probably is, Emily. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. Are you gonna stop yes, talking sorry. to me? Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Oh! Is that true? Oh! No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into Yeah, the she did, Emily. Thousands of dollars of equipment and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though. And he knows that. Huh. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I mm. planned on dropping the charges. You're fine, Mary Tom. Rolling, I lost control of it. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. <laughs> and that was that. Poor Halen. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... <laughs> it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But mm. he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. Yeah. So, Nick, don't worry. Go get him. Go, go get him. <laughs> Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. Oh, dang. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. This house has so much tea. Talk to me, talk Next. to me, talk to me. I've heard about the ghost, but can you tell me anything about the real Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. That's cute. She died here. That's Join not the cute. Old family, as he used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. That's sad. It does sound a little eerie. That was back when Thornton Hall was pretty. Now, I don't even want to entertain the thought. Did your mother say much else about the ghosts here? Too much. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces. Crimson, so you're so cute. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief that Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter, real mean and nasty. Interesting lore. Until they forget everything that made them human. Interesting. And then they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. So that's probably what the lore is, the standing lore. Um. That friend from that book that we read earlier was talking about how his friend Charlotte um, was a, a sweet person, a, a good friend, um, and that the ghost that everyone is portraying the Charlotte to be isn't the friend that he knew. Um, and that if they stay for you know a certain extended amount of time, according to this lady, they become real mean and nasty. But that's weird. It doesn't make sense. If Charlotte was like the sweet person that everyone liked, why would she need to make peace with anything? So they're basically saying that Charlotte had some kind of weird secret um, or some kind of weird past that has basically made her bitter and mean or, or whatever. It's interesting. Um... Yeah, that's all the options we have for her, Emily. <laughs> uh, seems like that describes, that best describes this woman. Um, okay, I think I've heard I enough. I think I've heard enough. You're wise to keep the windows to the spirit world shuttered tight. What's the story with a locked room up? Tell me. It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. Oh, it's Charlotte's room. Let me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. Interesting. I'd better get going. Take care. 
Or maybe it was a different ghost and they thought it was the girl. That's a good point too. We can't do anything here. Um, nothing else over here. I'm gonna see if I can't use that processing machine. If we can make it work. This one. I'm pretty sure we have to... This is a cotton gin machine. We might not have all the materials to get it working. There must be something that's broken with it. I'm telling you this music here goes hard. Hmm. I don't know what goes over here either. Oh, interesting. Hold on. We're going to go over here really quick. That's almost off the charts. This must be the This is the place. Oh shoot. Make yourself blind. Even ghosts have their favorite haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with dreadful meter. Where dreadful meter is at its peak. So this is the place. Make yourself blind. Don't you dare peek. Call Charlotte home and hear her speak. But I don't know how to start. It's right here, but how do we make ourselves blind? That doesn't make any sense. Guys, I don't know how to make ourselves blind. Ooh. Okay. Mama, I be telling you, I be telling you, ain't nothing good coming out of the ground around here, I know. Blindfold, we do need a blindfold. I don't have one. At least we know where we're supposed to go, but yeah, we definitely need a blindfold. Not sure we're supposed to get one. Ooh. Close your eyes. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> I'm sure we'd have to have like an actual blindfold. I don't know. That didn't sound good. No, 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 no. I don't want to interact with that. Thank you very much. Gracias mucho. Okay. Um. Well. Yeah, maybe that's what comes out of the cotton gin. I'm not sure. Um, not sure how to make it work. There's nothing interactable so far. Okay. I'm telling you, when I say Nancy Drew games are hard, I don't mess around. <laughs> what if we turn off the lights? Closing eyes is out of the question. That's too easy, right? Like, we need some kind of blindfold. Not sure Nancy. we're supposed to get one. I'd better get going. Okay. See you later, huh? You're not gonna help me. Okay. Let's go upstairs really quick again. I don't know why we needed to restore that picture. It doesn't make any sense. Um, blindfold, blindfold. Give me that blindfold. No material over here. Um, uh, uh. <sighs> the lack of sense. The lack of sense. Dollars and cents. Ah! Sorry, I killed my own game. Okay. Um, we still have another phone call to make. Okay, here we go. Hi, Nancy. Did you get the package I left for you? Yes. I think they're silly, but apparently some of the people I've met swear by using EMF signatures on the property. Hmm. What have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows? When I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interesting, I'll send you a gallery proof. If they're not, 
Guess I'll go teach. Do you know anything about the factory accident? Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. When I was there, I expected to feel something when I stood near the old factory. And nothing? As many spirits as I expected. I only met one. Charlotte? That'd be the one. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. I spoke to Wade. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? Mm. I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. But then? But then I got scared. You two were dating. What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. <laughs> Why? They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. <laughs> I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. Tell me what happened when you met Charlotte. I'll tell you, hon, but you got to remember that you are not like me. Well, what do you mean? I have opened the door to the spirit world, and you have not. Mm. And don't you dare do it, ever. You hear? Yeah, I can agree to that. I mean it. The dead are just like lost children. If you're out there leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, they will find you. Enough of the PSA. I snuck out there to the ruins on the anniversary of her death. I waited in silence for a long time. Nothing. You didn't say the rhyme? Oh, that. Oh, it's cute, but I wasn't looking for my daddy's brain-dead bloodhound. They come when they come, and in the dead of night, she came. Stood right beside me. Just me and her eye to eye for a hot minute. Finally, she reached for my wrist. Mm -hmm. She pulled me through a fog that became smoke and then fire. She pulled me back to the night she died. Could you see what happened that yeah, night? Yeah, Emily, come here. I'll give you a hug. <laughs> I, I could only feel the heat. I could feel how sad she was and how angry. I'm sorry, hon. Talking about it don't come easy. Hmm. I'm just trying to fit the pieces together. What does Charlotte have to do with Jesslyn? All families got one thing in common. Every generation, just like the last. There's some rebels and some oddballs that break the mold. But for the most part, one generation gonna follow into the footsteps of the next. From what I gathered, Jesslyn seems to be cut from the same cloth as Charlotte. You ask me, if someone saw Charlotte as a threat, then Jesslyn's been born behind enemy lines. Mm. You said you opened the door to the spirit world. What did you mean? You really sure you want to know? Yes. I'm curious, and <laughs> no disrespect, but... Last time, I told you how my daddy got me interested in ghosts, but that's only part of the story. When I was young, there was a spot in my room where I could fold back the wallpaper. There was this gorgeous old wood behind it. I mean, to me it was. I'd trace the ripples in the grain with my finger for sometimes hours. Why? I don't know. I, I was a girl, and it was the only thing I knew about that no one else did. I don't know exactly when it started, but I began to trace a beautiful old willow into the wall over and over again. Strong limbs running up to the sky and the tangled roots grabbing tight at the dirt. I was obsessed. I traced the tree until I knew every detail. I even started to see it after a time. Little indentations in the wood. But one day, the lines felt strange and cold. And I realized it wasn't the wall I was feeling. There was a girl on the other side of the wood. She was showing me what to draw. She was trying to tell me something. I should have shut my eyes tight and glued the paper back. But I didn't, and I couldn't. I let her teach me the shape of the tree again and again until one day I saw it in real life. What happened? Not a thing until a strong storm hit a few months later. I don't have to tell you what they found when Bright they crimson. what was left of the willow tree from the ground, now do I? That's when I decided I would learn to listen. I knew even then it had come at a cost. I just had no idea how high. Someone wants me to call a ghost. Uh, I don't know if I should. In my experience, 
When you try to call ghost, it goes straight to voicemail. <laughs> How sure are you? 95%. Less reassuring than I was hoping for. <laughs> Think of it this way. In 100 parallel universes, only five Nancys get eaten by ghosts. Eaten! Eaten. Metaphorically, for the most part. Savannah. Savannah, you are not helping. Oh, I'm just trying to loosen you up. You'll be fine, honey. Smart Money says this is just someone torn with you. But if you feel anything out of the ordinary, run and don't look back. Goodbye. Hmm. Y'all be careful now. Let's try calling Addison one more time. Yeah, you could say it goes to ghost mail. Goodbye. Find Jess. Okay, we're gonna call Bess Marvin. She's one of our friends. She's one of our home skillets. She does research Best for us call. on the side. All right, bonus Ned. Ned's our boyfriend! What are you two up to? George is in New York. So, she got the internship with that technology of tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Well, why is that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few yes, Emily. miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Really? Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters. So good at stacking things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. <laughs> I've been so bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. <laughs> Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Uh, uh, Nancy has a lot of trust for her, her, her friend Bess because um, <laughs> she left her boyfriend alone with him. There's something strange about Jessalyn's disappearance. What's that? There's no ransom note. That does complicate things. But I've read that most missing person cases involve the immediate family. You're right. I guess the best move is to keep the family talking. Maybe they'll let something slip. Or maybe they're trying to tell you something. How so? Remember in Kyoto, you told me that ghosts are what people invent when an injustice can't be fixed? Sounds me-ish. If that's <laughs> the case here, once you figure out what the deal with the ghost is, I bet it'll point right to Jessalyn. And if the ghost is real, then case closed. A ghost did it. If that turns out to be the case, please don't tell me. I like living in a world where ghosts are probably not real. <laughs> I already have to fall into bed after every scary movie for fear of ankle grabbers. Not the ankle grabbers. I met Wade. I still say giving your child a verb for a name dooms them to a life of hearing mediocre jokes. What's he like? He's got a bit of a rough edge. He seemed surprised that I came instead of Savannah. What do you mean? He wanted Savannah here, specifically. They dated. Why? I don't know, but I intend to find out. I want to catch you up on the case. So it's a missing persons case, right? Do you think she's actually missing? I don't know. I've heard of runaway right, brides, Helen. but I don't think that's the case. If it's a missing persons case, why aren't the police taking care of it? Well, they are, but since she's an adult, there's only so much they can do. What? Ned was telling me about the ghosts out there. Do you think maybe they're related? Actually, I believe in this ghost. Ned, do I have permission to do a spit take in your living room? But No. I'm doing it anyway. Say that again. Please don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down, Bess. The Nickersons are a tidy people. I wasn't really going to do it, guys. Nasty Unless buzz. someone made me laugh. And this is that super red soda that's still on the market even though it's been linked to distractibility in 9 out of 10 Besses. Back to you. Are you finally trading in your skeptical Code Red Mountain Dew? And miss the dinner that probably won't happen this year? <laughs> no way. People here believe in the ghost. I think if I don't take the ghost story at least a little seriously, I might miss something. Smart. Well, I hope so. I think I'm supposed to go meet a ghost. Cool. 
<laughs> cool. A blindfold. Makes sense. Now the question is, do you match the blindfold to your skirt or your shoes, or do you go all clashy? I'm just not sure if I should go through with it. I'm worried it might be a trap. And also, where's Hold the blindfold? Up, are you being serious? About the ghost? And the blindfold? Yes. I know you can't see it, but Ned and I are sharing a worried glance. Nancy? I know. <laughs> I'll be careful. I was just going to say, it'd be a very memorable double date. Aw, Ned. That's very sweet. <laughs> and strange. I was aiming for one, but I'll collect the whole set. Dang. Oh, get a crypt, you two. Get a crypt, you two! <gasps> oh. I need to charge a phone that has no charger. <laughs> Welcome back, Danny. I'm good with koans. Ned? Oh, I got this. I once made a potato battery by hooking up some wires. Yeah, well, I once turned a potato into an abomination by forgetting about it for a year. Sorry. It's hard not to get jealous around Mr. Nose Things here. Continue being useful. Actually, that's all I've got. If you find some potatoes or oranges and some alligator clips, that might get you part of the way there. Wait, what are we supposed to use a battery for? Guys, what are we supposed to use a battery for? What's- Luna, you were paying attention. What are we supposed to use the battery for? Sorry, I was paying attention to another problem we were having. So, charging the phone. Okay, 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 okay. Sweet. Okay, so we can charge- charge the phone. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I just saw a ghost. So what are we talking? Puppet? Mirror tricks? No. Listen, don't tell anyone else this. Is this going to be a ghost blind item? A well-known spirit was spotted at a popular haunt canoodling with a certain ghost yes, about Luna. now known for his habit of appearing in mirrors. Can you channel Sirius Bess for a moment? Okay. Homework, my dad talking about taxes, that picture of a puppy who got lost. Old paintings of European royalty. I'm there. Thanks. <laughs> Bess. Since I've gotten here, things have been getting stranger and stranger. I can't shake this feeling. It's like an odd weight. I'm not saying the ghosts are real here. I'm just saying... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. That doesn't sound like the Nancy I know. <sighs> I know. I just need to clear my head. There is always a scientific explanation. Ned, you gotta tell her to come home. <sighs> Still gotta work on that whisper, Beth. <laughs> You're really scaring me. Come home. I will, just as soon as I can. I met Jessalyn's mom. Poor her. Assuming she's innocent, what's your impression? She's reserved. Can't fault her for that, but it does make her hard to read. I've never been a mom, but I have owned my fair share of this. <laughs> and no way, no way anyone could take care of something and even think of... Nancy, it's too sad. Can't do it. I owe it to Jessalyn to distrust everyone, even her. I know. This case is like a big, fat, tall cloud of sadness that's sitting in front of me and using its cell phone when it's not supposed to. Emily? We just got back from a pretty rowdy opening night screening of the relation shipwreck. It was really bad. All I want is to see the screen and to not deal with jerks, to have a movie-style romance, and for no one to get hurt ever. <laughs> Find her, Nancy. I'll do my best. Promise. I met Jessalyn's fiancé, Colton. Where's he fall on the cute to guilty spectrum? That's not a valid spectrum. Like fun it isn't. Oh, is this because Nat is on the line? No. <laughs> I'm not calling off the dogs. You're just going to have to find a way to tell me that balances the public's need to know with Ned's presumably fragile ego. <laughs> My ego is perfectly fine. Is that so? Nickerson men laugh in the face of insecurity. <laughs> so, Neddard? A test. Neddard? Describe Colton's looks using the international Ned cuteness unit. We talking half a Ned? Two Neds? Wait, Colton's look? One tenth of a Ned. One tenth of a Ned. That's very nice of you, Nancy, but no need to spare my feelings. He's not that good looking. And under appraisal like that means he's way better looking than you. Let's <laughs> refocus. Right. Ticking clock, kidnapping, etc. How guilty does he seem? For consistency, please state your answers in Ned units. <laughs> I can't tell you yet. 
He doesn't seem as worried as I'd expect, but maybe he's the type to internalize his feelings. Huh. So that's a thing you can do? The boyfriend is statistically favored when it comes to crimes like... Yes. Try to get him talking about the relationship. I studied that in preschool. Wow, preschool. Preschool. Better get going. That's a freaking pro. Bye. What a Chad. Okay, I'm gonna call Savannah just one more time. I'm just gonna make sure that there's no dialogue options. Hi. Goodbye. Bye. Y'all be careful now. Okay, let's go talk to um Colt. Ah! Whoops, sorry. I this guy. What's up? How did you and Jessica yeah, how did you guys meet? I saw her one day and I know I never went to preschool either, this Emily. Is the girl I'm going to marry. And then really? I threw a rock at her face. What? <laughs> like metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game. No riz. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. This guy is so weird. <sighs> I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... So you and Jessalyn must have dated he is a creep. quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're gonna get married. Go to it already. Wow. Controlling Jess mom. Was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. This sounds weird, like a weird manipulation. Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a. My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You. You know, <laughs> when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Wow. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. What? She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. Interesting. Interesting. So she hung out with Charlotte's family. Um, hi Rank. How are you? I You changed your name, didn't you? Goodbye. Let's go try talking to What's your bucket's mom again? Justin's mom. Goodbye. Nothing, really? Take care. We need to find some kind of blindfold. We need to find some kind of blindfold. I don't know where we're supposed to find. Wait, really? You didn't change your name? I swear, I thought it was something different before. Man, I... Can we do anything with this? No. I'm not sure where we're supposed to find a blindfold so that we can do the the um little chant chant. It's got to be the cotton. Oh, I already have one. Two napkins. I wonder if we have to use the napkin. Well, let's see if it's the napkin that does the job, you guys. Oh, this is it. This is it, you guys. Guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. You guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Okay. Um. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Ah! Tell me, who are you? Nancy, I'm here to help Jesslyn. 
Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare you. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. LOL. I'm here to find Jessalyn. That's reason enough. Foolish, but come. <laughs> Remove the blindfold. Just who are you? Harper, can I trust you? Can you be trusted? Oh, isn't Harper the one who ran away from home and then the grandpa uh, made a headstone because she ran away from home and like to teach her a lesson? They're like, okay, Harper, uh, you ran away from home and everyone thought you were dead. So we're making a gravestone for you and you have to like look at it occasionally. This is that girl. And honestly, she's giving uh, Beatrix Lestrange vibes. So um, <laughs> Emily's like, we can trust her. Uh, can you be trusted? It depends. Can you? Depends. Can you be trusted? That's a no now, isn't it? You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. We're under the house? That would be at the top of my list of questions. Yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why hmm. not? It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire, and the fire will build some smoke, and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing. Pausing for effect. <laughs> Dramatic. Okay. Could you tell me now? A moment, hon. Ahem. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath. I love that for you. With delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. Oh, My we're gonna get along. They have publicly said that I'm a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end. <laughs> Dad, yes, girl, same. Runs down a well. You what? What? I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah, help, I'm in a well. <laughs> So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. I... Oh, wait, <laughs> shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. What's this? Go now. Um... Man. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny, ah, I'm in a well. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, uh, hello? Does that mean we can go through the door? No. We die here, don't we? No! <sighs> Try again. Um, why did that just fall out of nowhere? Seriously, fell out of nowhere and we can't pick it up? It's just so random. Was it, was it just trying to make a point that there's lots of, like, sides? <sighs> Go on, get! Right, downcast? Dang. Um. Hmm. I should look for those portraits. To find me again, look to the portraits. I guess. Hmm. The letters must be what that note was. Ooh. To. All right. Now to find all the others. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do another puzzle. Yeah. Okay. More, more, more portraits. That's why that portrait was important. You. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Can we do this more? More. Mass. No? I guess that was the only, only time. Okay, turn around. We have this one. Oh no, we've got the spooky musics. Um, we have that one. We have the one over here. Can't interact with that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have to go in here. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's gone! She's gone. The lady over here is gone. Can we do anything here? Interesting. I guess the answer is no on that front. These. Okay, and you. Okay, and then what else? This one. Come on. That's it. Now I should be able to figure out what the code means. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Um, I would like to re resistant not to imbibe anything related to the number of deaths. Yes, please don't. <laughs> okay, so now we can do... Oh, this is a rearranging puzzle. Jin. Uh... Cotton. Cotton? Cot cotton gin. Yeah, cotton gin. There we go. Cotton gin. Get. Seeds? Get. Uh, yeah, um. Cotton gin. Get seeds. Uh ah, uh, 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 I'm lost in the last two. Cleanable? No, it can't be cleanable. Cannibal. Can. Cannibal. Mmm, scales? Hi, crook! Hold on, I'm spelling this wrong. Okay. Cotton gin, get seeds, cannibal scales? Am I sent? Let's try balance. Yeah, it's probably balance. That's it. We did it! Cotton gin, get seeds, balance scales. We need seeds to balance the scales for the cotton gin. Uh, get seeds. We have this and balance the scales. We can't interact with anything here. So I'm guessing that we just go back here. How do I get this working again? Yeah, how? I need to put the combs on first. Okay. We can do this. We can do hard things. Okay, these are kind of far away. No, you don't want to. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Do, 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 do. Uh huh. This is. Hmm. I don't feel like it's making good noises. But, um... I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I think I'm doing this wrong. <sighs> okay, let's try... 
Okay, that's not gonna go all the way in. Nope. Maybe I did have the right idea. I just need everything to fit. gonna work either. Let's try... How do we get this boy to work? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Because it doesn't have a hole here. This still needs to get covered. Oh boy! Welcome to Mama Can't Figure Out the Puzzles time. interesting time with this. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we will get it. I just I know, so close, yet so far. No. No, that's not gonna work. Is that really not gonna wanna work for me? Let's see. Hmm. No, and that's not going to work at all. Nope. Hmm. It's going to be a lot of, um, trials and errors. Why can't I get this to work? Is it because this has this thing sticking out? Is that what it is? Okay, um... We can do hard things, you guys. No. I think you have to end it with no pull sticking out, and you're probably right, honestly. You're probably right. Come on, what up for me? Uh, nope. Yeah, this isn't gonna work puzzle-wise. Too many prongs. Um, let's maybe not do this one. Shoot. I wonder if any of these with the big prongs sticking out will work. Probably not. Oh! This one will work. This is a three. That's not gonna work. Let's try... No. This? Nope. Sorry guys, a lot of guessing and checking here. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. That's not the solution we want. So it probably does have to be one of these that align at the bottom. See if one of these ones with another prong will work. Yeah, this one will work. Let me see if this one will work as well. Nope. 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 Okay, let's try this one. And then... Okay. Nope. Not even gonna try that. Nope. 
That doesn't want to work. Okay. No, ma'am. Nope. Oh. Yes? How about this? Nope. How about this? Nope. Nope. They, these won't work at all. Help. Well, I can't rotate them in any way. No, this is just a very interesting puzzle. Uh, yeah, I'm having I'm having a, a brain dumb moment. Let's see, let's not try that. Well, I I feel, why do I feel like that works though? Yeah. Okay, wait. Let's think about this. If I put a one prong here. Um. Let's try. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I'm like, put it together until solution. Put together until solution. Yeah, boy. Hmm. Mama, the pieces correspond to the pattern of the next gear. Yes. Uh, doctor, do you want to try and help? Do you think you have this? I feel like this one's got to be the first. Go ahead, doctor. If you want to try. The doctor likes the puzzles. Mm. I feel like the first one has got to be one with a bunch of holes, but... Yeah, go get a snack. For sure. Get a snack, you I guys. Like put it on like that. Uh huh. Just like that. Here, Mama has to go get a snack as well. So I'll be right back. Doctor will be on. If you guys want quality dad time. I'm sorry, I don't have any qualities to dad with. Let's see. Uh. Could be this one. No. No. Hmm. No. I think we've ruled this out as the first one. This is possible first choice. Can I switch these around? Yeah, good. That helps. Okay, so possible first choices have to have this set of four holes. So that disqualifies this one, for instance, as well as this one, and this one disqualifies all but these top four. So we know the first choice has to be among these top four. Let's see. Among those top four, this one is ineligible because of the bottom left hole miss, uh, not being present. This one. Let's see. This one's a valid choice. 
this one's a valid choice, but I think we just tried it and determined that it leads to invalid choices, so it's down between these two. Now down between these two, we gain no advantage by using the one on the right instead, so we'll use the one on the left. Okay. Um, let's see, if I put this one on now, I should be able to fit one of these that has a smaller number of holes. Yes, this one. And now I should be able to fit one that has, again, a small number of holes. And again, like so, and like so, and like so. Fixed Done. it. dad time? I don't think I should progress without her here. How many do you need to fit? All of them. Doctor on dad? What? This is why I... This is why I'm not the streamer. Oh, Downcast is cheering. Oh, let's do a sound alert. And also... There, perfect. <sighs> uh, what do we talk about without her here? So, how you guys like purple? Did you hear her yell about Cheetos from the other room? I hid the Cheetos. I think I hid them in the snack compartment. Uh. Huh. Red. Orange rod. Purple is a mixed bag. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. I mean, it's used in video games to represent poison and corruption pretty commonly. What are you talking to chat about? I go and get a snack, and you guys... I the puzzle. What was I supposed to do? Just have dead air? You're talking about purple and corruption? You know what? I already You're got in trouble for talking to chat once. It's all yours. <laughs> can you close this door so we can remove Echo? <laughs> One second. Let me, let me get out of sleep mode. Flaming Sorry. hot. Yeah, I wanted. I thought you were hot. getting the good Cheetos. What the heck? Flaming hot Cheetos are good Cheetos. I have flaming hot Cheetos and Wickles pickles. I got flaming hot Cheetos and Wickles pickles. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted flaming hot Cheetos, and the doctor's like, "No, you're fine, Yeshua." <laughs> yeah, like honestly, go get a snack, you guys. Go get snacks. <laughs> if you're not getting a snack while watching this stream, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I got the Wickles Pickles, you guys. I got Wickles Pickles and I got Hot Cheetos. I got my drinky drink. The bad Cheetos. I don't know what you're talking about. Flaming Hot Cheetos are great. Okay. At this point. Ooh. Put the cotton in the thing. Uh, hello? Can we put the cotton in? Oh, we did it. Okay. Oh, seeds! Done. That's all of the seeds. We got the seeds. I have okay. to find a way to balance these scales. Okay. Balance the scales. With the seeds. Okay. Interesting. We have to do math on this, don't we? I mean, it seems balanced to me. Shoot, we have to do math here, don't we? Uh... No, I don't like math. I don't like math. Um, 
What about the Cheetos? A uh, doctor says it's not good. Hi, Sergeant T. Apollo. White Cheeto, white cheddar is good. How about them as sports? I ate two chocolate cakes. Ooh, Halen, that sounds so good. This is so scary. What the heck? I don't like math. Mm -mm. I don't like math. I don't like this. Um, dang it. Doctor, I feel like you'd be good at this one. I know, the doctor's over here like, oh. What's the limitation on how many stones you can place on a particular pan? We have to pan? put, we have to put all of the um, seeds. Why and we have to, um, what? Why can't we put all the seeds on one or two of the pans? Is there an upper limit to number of seeds we can put on a pan? I don't think so. I don't know. We might be limited at four. Let me see. No, we can keep stacking seeds. No, we're limited at five. Okay. So hmm. upper limits at five. We figured out the first one, Emily. Actually, the doctor did. So, um, now it's balanced. That's balanced. I did math. You guys, I just did math. Look at me doing math. What a good mama. Yeah, I'm good. One could arguably say I'm a good girl. That looks new. It hmm. Thank you, Gabriel. Look at me. A oh, go, go, go. Guys, you guys don't know how bad Coco Kringles trigger me. Okay, so listen. Coco Kringles are Nancy Drew's favorite candy bar. Back in the day, back, oh, I want to say like maybe eight or nine years ago, her interactive was selling these Coco Kringle bars. Mama bought two of them with the purchase of a game. And um, I put it in the freezer and the doctor ate it. Like I was saving this for a rainy day and the doctor went into the freezer and ate my Coco Kringle. And I'm still mad about it. So anyway. Ooh, key. What does this say? Wedding notes. You know mom and you know me. So when you look this over, uh, don't forget the crazy requests are not mine. My one request is that you show up and wear a suit. One follows, what follows is a list of demands from on the high end. Also tell your mom that I'm fine doing whatever, but she's got to toe to toe with my mom about any changes. She will trust me. Let's just try not to be near that. So here it goes. Your groomsmen, no beards or piercings, all wearing the exact same shade of black. This is not gonna happen since I made the mistake of having friends with personalities. No wedding DJ. It has to be a band and not Brian's band. Who, who wrote this letter? Was it the groom? No one likes wedding DJs. I already told Brian his band could play. They'll behave this time, I'll make sure of it. Who wrote this? You know my mom and you know me. Um, she'll make you pick out what you like, pick the second set she shows you, or she'll assume you weren't paying attention. It doesn't matter what you pick, but I doubt you'll care. Don't care at all. My mom wants to mix all the guests up at the wedding so people mingle, up to you. Not looking forward to that. She's trying to force me to uninvite a few of my friends, obviously not going to. When she tries, just say, I'll try, but you know how Jess gets. Who wrote this? Guys, whose perspective is this? Bro doc, that's mega cringe, bro. Oh! Sorry, from the, our earlier comment. Okay. 
Wait, Coco Kringle bars were real? I know, they were real at one point in time. Like, her interactive sold the Coco Kringle bars and it was amazing. Um, they sold companies, so they, I don't think they'll ever do that sort of thing again, but. Mm. Why don't you deal with this yourself? Who wrote this? I'm not marrying her, right? Balsamic clouded etched ice. So whatever this is, it, there's like um a disagreement here. Why not fried chicken and cheesy shrimp grits or mac and cheese? That sounds so good. That's what everyone's going to want. Why make everyone food that requires a appreciation? Interesting. Okay, so there's that. Tree. Ooh! Yeah, let's keep That's this. Handy. Come on, Nancy, let's keep this. We need that. Water bottle, backpack. So there's a summit disagreement there in the wedding. Looks like um it's not all paradise. Yeah, they're basically like crunch bars, but I wouldn't know because um I never got to try the Coco Kringle. Okay, here's what's your bucket. Quick, I haven't got all day. Well, you made me solve a puddle puzzle to get down here. Can you tell me a little more about Clara? I could, but as a lover of the written word, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? Ooh. What do you know about Clara? She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not mm. you really look. Were you and Clara close as children? I don't want to talk about it. You don't have to go into it. Should I even have to? Look at me down here, and she's up there. Mm. I try not to hate her, but I can't help it. Why are you down here? Why are you here? Jessalyn, poor little Jessie Lamb has Vanished, they say. Can't have that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. Are you trying to find Jessalyn? Yes. Maybe you could help me out. You want my help? I'm not a helper. Oh, if you keep my secret, then I'll help. Hmm. Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. What? What exactly did her ghost say? Boo. <laughs> Not my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, get out. Right, Danny. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you, and she wants you to leave. Hmm. This house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? No. Maybe you should not use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. Clara came to live with you after her mom died. Is that right? Yes. Did you get along? Yeah, we was a regular Tom and Huck to start. <laughs> what do you think of Wade? The Wade man of Alcatraz. Don't trust him about a single thing in this living world. I don't know. Wade seems kind of nice. Well, I like him. Dad, he understands that. You're dressing up as Charlotte or doing something to fake these hauntings, aren't you? <laughs> the hits keep coming. You're a doll, a real peach. Ew. Oh, you're not kidding, are you? Am I dressing up as my dead sister for kicks after the only family member everyone can agree on has gone missing? Is that what you're asking? Wow. Yes, that's the question. The implication was more or less added by you. No, I am not, so shut it. Don't want to go in the house? Don't blame you. Tell me about Charlotte. She was my big sister. Was? You really think she oh yeah, she's dead. I know. How do you know? No, no more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. 
All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore. That's, That's not true. Not true at all. Says the girl who's never seen a drop of rain fall on her perfect life. I lost my mom when I was a yep. girl. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. But sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. No, you're crazy. Hmm. Well, well, well. Yeah, Nancy lost her mom when she was itty bitty. Whatever this thing is. We're all crazy. I was crazy once. Locked me in a room with rats. In a rubber room. A rubber room full of rats. Oh, yes. Mmm. Hold on. What? What is that crap? That's a good Cheeto. Oh, let me a sippy sip. Charlotte's cryptic obsession with Jackson was indeed grave. <laughs> grave. <laughs> she's in the grave. When she is in search of something lost or lost in the search itself. And who was this Jackson? They say dead men tell no tales, but that isn't true now, is it? That phrase itself came from a man who is now dead and still telling tales and letting his thoughts go traveling through humanity like hitchhikers patiently waiting to get to the next town. Who is Jackson indeed? What is he hiding and who put it in? Who put it there? What is Charlotte? And we can't take that note. Probably not relevant. But who's Jackson? Hum, 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 hum. What the heck? Why are we looking at a wall? Tiles. Interesting. We came over here and found tiles. Um, how do we get over there? It's so weird. Hmm. La di da di da. La di da. Ooh. Vasistas. What's going on here? Some kind of future interactable exchange. Do, 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 do. We just checked this area. Um, -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba uh, huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, Wiggles, Pickles, and Hot Cheetos, man. That's probably the way we came, yeah? Where does that lead further into the abyss? What the heck is this crap? Some cool secret tunnel? Isn't that the way- Is this the way we came? Yes. Yes, it is. Meaning, we have not been here. Okay, let's, uh... Wiggles pickles and the bad Cheeto shake my head. Isn't Jackson the guy who built the factory on the island? Ooh, interesting, Sonic. I did get more Wiggles. Emily, I went to the store and I got the last two jars of Wiggles pickles at the store. The last two jars. Um, that one time I didn't have a copy pasta saved. <laughs> Downcast. What is Charlotte and why is Charlotte, right? Mm hmm. Looks like it's missing a piece. We don't mm -hmm. have the piece to that. Hmm. It's locked. Um, hold on. This is a symbol. Whatever this symbol is. Okay. Okay. Um... 
talk to her one more time. Hello. Goodbye. 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 Hmm. All right. Anything else? No. At this point, Mama deserves a Wiggle Spiggle sponsorship. <laughs> Hmm. Well, at least we can go in there without any worries now. This chick. Hello. Strange woman in the basement. Let's not tell her about that. Can you tell me anything about your father that might be relevant? Why would you ask me about my father? You know, no stone unturned, pursue all angles. I don't believe you. Fine. I never knew who my daddy was. Have you say that? I promise I didn't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You gotta turn it into W for Wombo, Flaming Dragon? <laughs> I know, Emily. Close call, right? Getting the last two jars. So, like, what's this, this point, Mama? Wait. So, like, at this point, Mama deserves Wiggles Pickle sponsorship. Her father being Jackson, it might be. A warlet? LOL, don't cash. Why didn't your mother ever tell you? I think one day she was going to tell me. But she didn't live to get the chance. I'm not telling her about the girl Bye. in the basement. Bye. Can't do that right now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her father could be very well. Jackson. Um, oh, I think we needed to try and make the phone charger. Why can't we do it? Um, we cannot. Hi, MJ. How are you? What does the electricity manu manual say about... So we would need nickels to do this one with coins using fruit we need lemons limes oranges one copper coin and a nail so we would need nails because we have we have coins what we have pennies and we have oranges we just need a nail the question is, is how do we get a nail Oh, we would use the hammer to get the nail, the nail out. Sorry, I almost burped. That would, that would have been, sorry. Let's see if we can find a nail, you guys. We probably have to use the hammer to get it out. Has anyone seen a nail of any sort in the wall? I feel like, like right here. Come on, bro. Okay, turn around. Come on. No. No. No nails. Mm. I know, this place has to be full of nails. Full of them. Mm. Um, 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 where are we going to find a nail? Where? What, couldn't we just take one of these pictures down and take one of the nails off of that? I feel like that would be the easiest thing, wouldn't it? Because I bet. Mama, have I ever seen Arrest Development? I have not. Is it good? Is it a good show? I've watched some of The Office. Like, I haven't finished The Office, but like, I've watched The Office before. The door's open! The door's open! The door's open, the door's open! Um, hello? Ah! We couldn't, we couldn't just go. The heck though? Bro, what was that? It wasn't even a quick time event. 
That's Lamerkins. What a, what a tease. What a freaking tease, like. So wild. What the heck? Meanwhile, we're still looking for a nail. I know, like, <laughs> super spooky. And um, we still can't find a nail. Ghost tease. I know, like why, why does that ghost have to taunt us like that? Such a tease. For like no reason. Um, I think I left my soul outside. <laughs> I want to see more of the pretty little ghost lady too. Not around apparently. The heck. Okay, can we find some kind of nail in this room? Perhaps. Any nails? Nay and verily. Okay. How about over here, yonder? Over here, yonder, eh? Uh, no. Any nails? Any nails, sir? No? Okay. How about outside? I don't understand. Maybe you gotta tell her about the girl in the basement? I don't want to. She said not to. She said she'd use something bad to us. I'll tell you what, um, if we can't find the nail, we'll rat out the girl in the basement. All of you are being sus. Hi, Sabaki, welcome home. Hot ghost lady where? Exactly, um, she's not showing up. Hey, what's this bucket's gone now? Um, this thing's off. Any nails, any nails. We can't even go further anymore because what's his bucket's not there anymore. This thing's turned off completely. Um, is this a nail? No. Can I, can I smash something? With the, where are the nails? Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we don't need any hot hot ladies. Any other hot ladies? We got Mama. You're so sweet, Gabriel. Also, my favorite part of the stream is hearing Mama eat chips. <laughs> There's a lot of that right now. Yes. Okay, let's ride out the lady in the basement. There's a strange woman in the basement. What? That can't be right. I swear, Harper was there. Oh. Nancy, I've got enough to deal with. Stop playing games or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Dang, we can't ride her out. Rut row. Is she gone? Is she gone? Oh snap. Oh snap, Harper's gone. Oh snap. But, um, on a real note, what about that, um, what about that, that, that nail? Can we do anything if we wanted to? Um, I need to make battery. What does this game not understand? Like, I need a battery. I need a battery. I need a battery. I need a battery right now. Mama needs a battery. And to do that, I need a nail and get it out of the wall. I need a nail. I need a nail. Mama needs a nail. Um, can we find one over here? Can we find one over there? Can we get a nail? A nail? A nail? A nail? No. Bro, where am I supposed to find a nail? Like, why isn't there like just random ones sticking out? You know? <sighs> Does no one understand that I need a battery to charge my dead phone? Does nobody understand? Hello, please take my hammer, please. I need, I need it for oranges. <laughs> 
you guys. Right? I would have taken any nail too. Like, let's break the house and find a nail. This house has got to be full of stuck out nails. Full of them. So, por qué? Like, why, why are we not finding any, you guys? I'm... Mm-mm. 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 You no sabe, okay? This is weird. Yeah, let's break this house. Mama, there was a boarded up window outside. Maybe I could get a nail from that. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, tell me Can about you Harper. Tell me a little about Harper. It seems like you two really didn't get along. She blamed me for what happened to Charlotte. Wow. Blamed you? On some level, she was convinced it was me. Dang. I let it go at first. She was just torn to shreds about the whole thing. But the more time went by, the more disturbed she got. She was obsessed with the idea that I had stolen part of Charlotte's locket. Mm -hmm. What kind of locket? That's what it sounds like, Sonic. I never figured out what she was talking about. One night, she followed me out onto the widow's walk. When I got near the railing, she pushed, and I fell. By the time I got out of the hospital, she was gone. I can't say I wasn't relieved. Harper really was down there. I'm not making things up. What do you want from me? Nothing. I just want to find Jessalyn, like you. Then no more games now, okay? It's not a game. I'm telling the truth. Nancy, enough! Just go away! Dang. Okay. Um. Not able to interact with that. Doing a hit and roll run is wild. Um. What the heck is she gonna do? Wasn't something stick out of the pole when you exited the basement? Um. I can try looking again, downcast. This place, right? Pole. This pole, right? Like this. Whoa! What's that? What was that? Guys, you saw that, right? What was that thing that came, came for me? What was that? You guys saw that, right? What the heck was that? Anyway, that was wild. I don't know. I don't even know what that was. I'm not going crazy. You can't gaslight me. Should I be able to take that out? <laughs> uh, must be a giant rat. Oh, wait, that's still bad. Right, exactly. <laughs> Go look outside. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going, Sonic. I'm going. Doctor, I'm gonna need your phone eventually because I think my phone is gonna die. Yeah, okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna need a replace. Oh, that guy's back again. Um, we cannot even interact with this wall thing, which is stu stupid. It's a stupid. Okay, um. Let's fi figure out why, um, Colton was gone. What's up? Do you know much about Harper? I heard she's in some psych hospital. I was like a mutated rat. But that's all. I don't know how long this stream's gonna be. I saw her around. I'm digging it. When I was a kid, but I don't remember much. Did Jessalyn ever say anything about her? Just that she seemed scared of her. Maybe they had a past, but I don't know. We'll probably keep going until I'm really stuck. See you later. Later. Which might be really soon. Doctor, I'm gonna need your phone. Yeah, because my phone's about to die. Let's talk Hi. to this guy. Oh, he's got a lot to say. What can you tell me about Charlotte? Charlotte was something special. 
Okay, give me one second, you guys. We're gonna connect doctor's phone because mine. Oh no, my <laughs> Chacha's on her last leg. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, <laughs> my model. <laughs> okay. Next time we should put you to sleep first. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. <laughs> Shaky mama. Beautiful voice. Uh, she mm -hmm. sang it was like sunlight busting through. <laughs> you guys. It sounds like you were close. She was the talented one of the bunch. You can still hear her sing if you stop to listen in the quiet, dark places. Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Dunno. The night before I saw her take off into the night holding this little pack. <laughs> Don't guess. <laughs> The look on her face. Danny wants to go? I should have stopped her, said. Danny, do you need a kiss? He's wrong. I'll give you a kiss really quick. Here, take this. <laughs> is this Charlotte's? Yes. Oh. Do you know what this is? Can you tell me what it's for? Maybe that's enough for now. Don't let this fall into the wrong hands. If you find this and don't know what it is, please, I'm begging you, put it back and hide it well. If you know who I am, this will help you understand what I did. Arrange the color pairs. Orange and blue numbers along the sides indicate how many of that color are corresponding. This is important. Two squares of the same color can't be directly next to each other. Use the X, X marks pairs you know contain neither color. It will lead you to what I've hidden. Clara told me that she never intended for you to go to jail. Don't. It is a Wiggles that. Pickles flavor, flavor Why kiss. Not? Because it ain't true. She used to come visit just to laugh at me through the glass. Seanic, what's battery? Hearing about home. Did Clara get along with Charlotte and Harper when she was younger? They all got along famously. Until the night of the fire. What exactly happened? Charlotte was getting ready for her big 21st birthday ball. And at the last minute went off to what is now the ruins. No one knows what started the fire. After that, what about Clara and Harper? Clara grew up pretty fast, but Harper, she got oh, lost. Oh, the, the orange and blue and on the on the page found. is a battery. Mmm, Crook, you f you found a shiny Alpha Duat. That's nice. Mmm, -hmm. yeah, bigger versions of the Pokemon. That's really cool. Good for you. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Why do we want to listen so bad? Okay, cool. Savannah said Charlotte was supposedly a ghost. Huh, <laughs> not supposedly. In my experience, ghosts tend to be not real. Then consider yourself lucky. In my experience, of which I have significantly more, reality isn't that simple. Hi, Isaac. Welcome back. Actually, seen this ghost? This ghost was my cousin Charlotte, and yes, I saw her. I saw her grow up. I was here the night she died. Whoa! I've seen her since, much as I wish that wasn't true. What happened to Charlotte and Harper's parents? Plane crash. Seems like there's a lot of misfortune in the family. Yes, Gabriel. Bad where's the nail? Bad luck. Tell me where the nail is, please. I swear, Harper was there. I told you. Life don't play by the rules here. Anyways, if she was, she ain't now. Goodbye. Adios. Adios, man. Hmm. Is this in the room where I built a battery? Are you serious? I'm going. Again with the eerie singing. Okay, so it's gotta be in here where I build the battery. Is it sticking out somewhere? Is it over here? I know it's pretty humming. Oh, are you kidding me? It was right here. Oh, I'm so mad about that. It was right here the whole time. 
Oh, I'm so mad about that. Time to recharge the battery. You freaking kidding me? It's not charged yet. Oh, wait, is it gonna it's not charged yet? But do I have to put it together? All right. There we go. All those oranges did the trick. It's not charged yet. Okay, so I have to leave it alone. Okay. Now we wait. Cool. We made an orange battery. Um Now I'm guessing some something significant has to happen now. Mm, not this chick. Ah! We got jump scared. Hi, Tensai. Welcome. Can you actually charge your phone with oranges in real life? I'm guessing you can, just like with the potato thing. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't explode. I I screamed so bad. Sorry, guys, for that jump scare. Yes. Better get going. <laughs> Bye. Okay, what what significant thing do we have to do now? I know I got jump scared real bad. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, another note. There was once a ghost who could only write notes. She lived in the walls and loved to float. She stood in the waves when you stepped off the boat. She skipped through the graves. And to you, she wrote, push glass vessels and find me below. C before I before K, the bottles downstairs. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. More puzzles, you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Um, being late to stream, that cell phone surprised me. I thought that this was way in the past. Oh, no, no, no. Um, it scared you and you scared me. And you scared me at Scareception. <laughs> Scareception. Did I scare everybody? I'm so sorry, you guys. Hi, Highlight. Welcome. This reminds me of the houses described in the yellow wallpaper. It's a short story, if memory serves correct. That's really cool. Well, this is Nancy Drew. Um, it's an old point and click game. I love the Nancy Drew series. It's really fun. Full of good puzzles. Okay, we are going to go here. Instructions from the yes. Note. This, 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 this. Okay. But how do we know? Oh, interesting. Okay. The ghost note. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. These are all the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. C is before I. Oh, we have to do one of these puzzles. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We have to do one of these puzzles. Let me eat a Wiggles pickle. And then Mama has to put her big brain. You want a pickle? Really? I really? I didn't know that you liked these. They're really good. Okay. We have to put on our thinking brain. Mmm. So that we can figure this out. Mmm. Wiggles pickles are so good, you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> C is before I. Okay. I comes first, and then C. <laughs> what? Oh, it's the pickle. The doctor's dying. Lissa, are you also eating Wiggles pickles? Mama, I might fall. I fell asleep and thought I missed it. No, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Okay. C comes before I. Wait. C before I. C first, then I. Yes. C before I, I before K. Okay, N immediately before B. N and then B. Um, I was really tired with the power out for being far. I'm so sorry. Yeah, doctor, just uh, try to wiggle. The answer is wiggle. 
<laughs> dead side. You're so funny. Um, let me see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. And it's before B. Immediately before B. F is neither first nor fourth. K is after N. K is after N. So it could be NBK. I is third. So there's six letters that have to be pressed. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six total. Six total have to be pressed. N, K, I, B, F, is that G? N, K, I, B, F, G, let's, or C, sorry, C, I, my eyesight, you guys. We'll try it. I'll try that. Um, let me just put this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see if I can do, 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 do this one. And then, shoot. N, K, I, B, F. C. Okay. N. K. Where's I? I. B. Am I doing this right? And C. Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> what? Yes. A solution if you want. Yeah. What, what's your solution? C F I N B K. C F I N B K. I is third. Okay. So you're proposing. C F I N B K. So you're saying it's C F uh hold on. I B N B K. Rip. Try that again. Okay. C. It's hard for yourself. It's right here, right? F. Yes. C F I. I. N. 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 B. B. K. There we go. We did it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. The fact- the, the doctor is in fact Mr. Cha-Cha as well as her producer. Yes. Give me my- what are you doing? I'm trying to understand what that is. It's my drink! Go it's sit- Good- good juice. Good juice. Leave me- <laughs> Good juice. Mm. Okay. Doc carried once again. Okay, um, what's, what's this? What was I supposed to think? One day you were just gone. It's cold. I better listen. Lexi, 
And I hope you understand how much that makes me hate you right now. Who is Lexi? Yeah, who's Lexi? Guys, who's Lexi? Hmm. Oh no, highlight. I just assumed you were busy. Hi, full, full, full havoc. How are you? Hmm. Hi, Johnny. Um, who else is in here? Gabriel got it. Sergeant D. Apollo. Doc has in fact saved the run once again. <laughs> I know, but there is drama. Like that was crazy. What's this? Whoa, camera. Ooh, the letter T. What? What view is this? Where is? Oh, there's a passage. Oh, <gasps> I know where this is. There's a puzzle. First something. There's a pillar. This is by the house. Of course, something here. Hold on. So here's the house. T. This thing. Something here. What's that? Where is this? Looks like some kind of fossil. Where is this? This guy. This is in the parlor room. Can we take it with us? Heck yeah. We love Twejo. Um, have a good night highlight. Doctor deserves two wickles for helping. <laughs> the ex-fiance to the fiance, ooh. Was that a coffin? Maybe it was. I'm not sure, Emily. What's happening? Whoa! I better get some rest. No offense, mm -hmm. but you sound really tired. Bro. Been burning the midnight oil at both ends? Feels like it. I must have slept through the day. <sighs> but I still feel exhausted. Maybe you should pace yourself a bit. I know. Wait, hang on. Hang on? Why? Is there a ghost? No, I see something. Uh, call you back later. Okay. A flower is a joy when it thrives. A burden when death arrives. Gather your dried petals where immortal immortality resides. Place a flower where she stands before the stone turns to dust. She will tell you what she can away and back to earn her trust. Us here. What? Where is this? Is that the unmarked grave? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We already saw the T. That was the start. At the start? Yes, 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 yes. Mm hmm. I know exactly where the T is. Um, maybe a ghost. Alrighty, I'm hitting the hay. Have a good night, Tensai. It's nice to see you here. Such a cutie. Have a good night. It says use here, but where is here? Oh, sorry, us here. No, you're right. I can't read, Gabriel. I'm so sorry. Sounds like the mausoleum. Yeah, use here is not where we are currently. The T is in your hand, you dummy. <laughs> Downcast. I'm glad you're doing well, Havoc. Okay. So. Nothing crazy over there. Um... Let's go this way. We want to... I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. What? She's in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. Yeah, super upset. They think that she was kidnapped. Yes. Goodbye. Take care. Okay, something's fishy about this. We probably can't do anything with her being here. We could have found a way. I should listen. Lexi. I know you still care about me. Ah! I want to see you when this is all over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. 
It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. <gasps> like, um, hello? This is, um, that's an affair. Like, he's got some kind of affair. He's two-timing, guys. Guys, wait, the picture definitely moved. Um, yeah. The exes are talking. There is some tea. Who is Lexi? Um, he definitely wants to be talking to her. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did you listen in on my call? No. Who is Lexi? <laughs> what are you talking about? The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? I think she is someone important to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiancé is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi... You want a conversation? Fine. I love Lexi. I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. That was based on a lie. Clara, my parents, even Jesselyn. They were all in on it. Jesselyn? Are you sure? What? You have to be. I mean... I haven't considered that she might not be yet. What? Before Jess and I got together, I was with Lexi. Until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then, she was gone. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away, and Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune. And Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... But you're in love with Lexi. I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? Yeah. I try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. What? So things would really work out for you if Jesslyn just disappeared. Yeah, you have motive. Do you really want to ask me that? Bro has motive. Sorry, I just really want to figure out where she is. Trust me, so do I. Hmm. Why is Lexi so important? I've always felt a little... out of step with the world. When I met Lexi, it's like everything snapped into place. I don't know how else to put it. And it wasn't the same with Jesselyn? I do love her. But not in the way I tried to. Jess is my best friend, and always will be. If she ever comes home, and if she ever forgives me. You don't think Jesslyn's coming back, do you? What are you implying? Nothing. Just observing. You want to know the truth so bad? Yeah, I'm afraid she's never coming back. Happy? The tea is hot. I know. Downcast. The tea is made out of gasoline today. Gasolina. I don't want to go in the house. Don't blame you. Aren't you worried that your parents won't approve of Lexi? Not after all they've done. It's time for them to stop worrying about my approval. Because I am done looking for theirs. You guys, remember when I said that Nancy has all the audacity? Literally, all the audacity. She is not afraid to just start asking blunt questions. Riku, where are you? There's flames. <laughs> where do you go when you're not out here? Hmm. Nowhere. So, every once in a while you pop out of existence? I walk around, looking for Jesslyn. Goodbye. Later. Hmm. Okay. Nancy's such a queen, honestly. Yeah, honestly, why stay at this point if he killed her? I wonder if, like, he... I wonder if, like, she's just run away on her own and he's just trying to see the aftermath of it. Hold on. I better copy this design. Okay. You got it, Nancy. Write that down. Write that down, write that down. It looks like a tank, almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
I got the shape. Approximately. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, I got it, I got it. First of its kind, across the bottom. I'm writing that down too. First of its kind, across the bottom. You cannot play a Nancy Drew game without like a notepad, honestly. You, you've got to have a notepad when you're playing Nancy Drew. Oh, I got, I got it. I didn't even need to draw it. Interesting. Um, cool. I smell bull scrap, fiddle dee doo, fiddle dee dap. That right there is a whole lot of scrap. Is that, what is that? Whatever, we're gonna go. This what? looks like the picture from the camera. Yes, move it out of the way. What? The numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly. This is from this puzzle. Okay. That's right. Okay. This puzzle. Wade's note. Please never felt it's fallen. If you find this, arrange the color pairs. Orange and blue numbers along the sides indicate how many of that color are in the corresponding row or column. This is important. Two squares of the same color can't be directly next to each other. Use the XX mark pairs you know contain either color. Hmm. Hi, Di. Welcome. I guess it is like Minesweeper? I can hear a mouse make them solve this puzzle instead. <laughs> Have a good night, Lissa. Uh, do people normally make houses with hidden puzzles used to open doors? Uh, Nancy finds herself um, frequently <laughs> finding puzzles such as these to do that with. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, so... Again, we're supposed to arrange these. Use that color of the corresponding row or column. Two squares can't be directly next to each other. Yeah, is this Minesweeper? Okay, so this means that we have four red and four blue in this column. What? Or four red, four along this way. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah. <laughs> These can't be touching though. That would apply here. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. This is fine. This is fine. No. That won't work. Correct. Because that's. No, put it back. No, it has to. It has to be this way. So that they can all. Because they can't touch each other. The same color can't touch. You are incorrect. What do you mean I'm incorrect? That condition is satisfied by the way that these are always opposite. That's why it's arranged that way. So you're saying that this is wrong? Or this? That, yes, the second one. You need to get rid of it entirely. That. Like that? You can do that? And you need to reverse this one. Like so? Reverse. Yes. And these two can touch? Oh, maybe not. 
I thought that they are not allowed to touch according to the directions. This one has to be arranged like this though ah. in order to meet this condition. My model's not working. Oh, there Sorry. we go. I'm fine now. No, no, you're fine. This one has to be like this in order to meet this condition. Like this? Yes. But so, this isn't going to work. Then change something else. You cannot change the one in the upper right. Unless... Well, no. You this could. allows that condition to be fulfilled here. Okay, in that case, take out the one in the upper right and replace it with the one with X's. Yep. Now, now this one. Blue on the right. But now this condition isn't fulfilled. Because there has to be four red on top. Oh. Yeah. In that case, may I? Go ahead. That fulfills that condition, yeah. Yep. Okay. Nope. This condition is also not fulfilled. This condition still isn't fulfilled. They all have to be X'd out. Like, every column has to be fulfilled in some way. Hmm. Okay, I see you. I'm so confused. <laughs> Doctor, remove yourself. <laughs> no, Doctor, come back. <laughs> they want you back. I'm eating another pickle. Hmm. See, in any given row or column where we have a 4-4 four, four like this, mm -hmm. we cannot leave any of these with X's, which helps us understand what rows we have to put, where what, what cells we have to fill. Mama's yow is so good! So that's, that's how I knew that we had to have this one here, but not this one. Mm -hmm. It's because we had a 3-4, indicating that we had uh, we had only a half cell on one element of this row, or of this column. I totally know what you're talking about. I, I'm having to invent terminology as I go, I'm sorry. Um, there we go. Uh, which means we also need... Probably this one. Mm, that'll do. Mm, no, it won't. There. That'll do. Um, we have far too many on this. This one red, two right. blue means that neither of these is valid. Yeah. Yeah. That's better than like so. Mm. Nope, that causes more problems than it solves. So like this. Oh yeah, okay. No, we're good. Bingo. Wait, one red? Then we cannot... Wait, one red? One red. Four, four. Then this has to be, oh, no, 
mom is at bedtime yet. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. We're probably gonna finish this puzzle and then we'll be done. Cause I know that this has gone a little long. Kill this. We'll finish this first. As soon as we finish this puzzle, I think we'll be done. I know it's past bedtime, but I've been having a lot of fun. Fetch. How? Those are all determined. This has to be. Like so. And that means we cannot have this. Can I, do I just have to flip every orientation? No, that's not gonna work. You don't have to share downcast, don't worry. Go get yourself some ice cream. Okay, then this has to be blue. Everyone's getting snacks. No. Then this can't be anything. Which means it has to be this one. After stream, <laughs> so no one can share with you, <laughs> so you don't have to share with anybody. Downcast. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a struggle, wuggle. You you struggle bussin'? Is that how they call it these days? The struggle, struggle bus? bus? Mm hmm. I think so. Brain hurts. Need dumber puzzles. I'm telling you. When I say Nancy Drew, I I was not joking around when I said Nancy Drew puzzles were like intense. There's puzzle games that. and then there's like Nancy Drew puzzle games. Frick. No, that's, that's Even the possible. doctor is struggling. Uh. <laughs> Even the doctor is like ah. Honestly, I'm tempted to reset. Yeah, these, these puzzles go hard. I can't brain today. I have the dumb. You can't brain today? <laughs> Can I hit the reset button? You should honestly play an anti-true game, Annalie. What, once, um, yeah, go ahead and reset if you really want. Um, once Black Friday comes around, like all of the Nancy Drew games go on sale. So definitely a good time to buy one. Can I just brain empty? <laughs> okay. And we can have either one or the other. Uh-huh. Blue. Uh-huh. So you can but put it, it has to be this one because we need everything filled. And if you're unsure room. about something, it says to put it in X's or, or whatever. That's what we're doing. Nancy's doing that automatically for us. No, no, no. I mean like you could put them in like That's what she's doing. That's what she said? Is that what you're going to say? That's what she said? I think you're well aware I would never say that on stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, do it, Emily. Do it. There we go. I get you now, but I ain't sharing. <laughs> I'll get it now. Yeah, go get it, Downcast, honestly. Okay. LOL Sonic, that's what she said. I, I love how Emily and Sonic and Downcast are like sticking it out, sticking it out to the end of stream. I know it's been long, you guys. Okay. Oh. Oh, hi, Luna. You too. <laughs> For anyone else lurking. Is that how that works? Okay. <laughs> I like spending time with you, Emily. 
Honestly, Mama, I'm just sitting here as drunk as a skunk having fun. I'm glad you're having fun, Sonic. Any excuse not to sleep is good enough in my book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here. So Maki! So Becky, so Becky. I need some dumb to balance the brain power of you see. <laughs> oh, poor so Becky, I'm sorry. The doctor's got it covered for us, so. <laughs> oh, too many over here. He's over here growling. Which means I have to have them here instead. Okay, mm. so which of these do I need to neutralize then? All of them. Neutralize them all. Hush your pretty mouth. Ah! Done. <laughs> he said pretty mouth. Mom, 1867. Right. And this is for another thing. Okay. The doctor did it. We have to end stream. Let me go ahead and save. Okay. Cutie pies. Okay. Let me make sure that I've saved the game. Uh, load game. Yes. Save. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then main menu. Okay. Let me make sure that, okay, we have it there. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to move the scene. And, oop, I interrupted my thing. I, I think our stream died. The stream did die. Okay, so here's what we do. We try this one more time. Just press stream. If that does not work, then we uh, will... Kind of looks like it's working. We can okay, see you. you good. Can okay, good. Excellent. Good. I don't know why... I'm telling you, Nancy doesn't like OBS. Yeah, Nancy doesn't like OBS. That's so wild. Can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Okay, you guys can hear me? And see me? Guys, I don't know what's going on with my stream deck and OBS and everything else. One second, you guys. Let's see. I'm going to kill a bunch of pages. Hopefully that helps. Ugh. Ugh. Um, okay, just chatting? No, that doesn't want to... Whoa. Yeah, it's not working at all. <gasps> oh, no. One moment. Did we die again? I don't I don't know. It's, it's, it's making a wee-woo-wee-woo. A wee woo wee It's making a wee woo wee -woo. Uh. Will it work if we manually do it? Uh, be right back. Uh, no, just, just chatting. There we go. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I think that we can't get any, um, scuffier. No, we definitely could. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Well... <laughs> Oh, yeah, she was still here. And Halen's still here. I'm so surprised. Okay. Let me go ahead and lean. Um, I know that this was kind of crazy. <laughs> Brute force for the win. Don't be sorry. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Who's ready for kisses? You guys stuck out for, like, a lot of the stream or at least um, <laughs> lurked for a good part of it or at least to the end. So... Kisses, kisses. I was playing a game while watching you, Mama. Thank you, Halen. Okay, guys. Um, let me go ahead and give one for Downcast because Downcast looks like the only one in Twitch. So here you go, Downcast. Let me give you a kiss. Mm, 
Mwah. One for Downcast. Emily's here. Mwah. One for you. Um, Halen is here. Mwah. One for Halen. And Writing Sonic. Mwah. One for you, Sonic. Uh, Luna's here. Mwah. One for Luna. Um, MJ. MJ, this one's for you. Mwah. One for you, MJ. And also, ooh, Gothic Mama said hi, hello. Gabriel, okay, mm, one for you, Gabriel. So Mecky, one for you, mm, And uh, Crook, <laughs> one for you, Crook. <laughs> Did anyone else need a kiss? I, is there anyone I forgot? I hope I got everyone. Um. Yeshua, mm, one for you, and one for Victor. I know he's not here, but uh, Victor always watches the VOD, so one for you, Victor. Mm, one for you, and anybody else? I think I think we're good. I think that's everyone. Of course, of course. Okay, you guys, we got everyone. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. You guys really did good, lurking and. And for all my lurkers, thank you for watching as well. Um, yeah, I hope Victor feels better. Um, okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and end stream. And I will see you guys on Sunday for Kill It With Fire. That should be really good. I'm excited for the game. <laughs> if you guys are like afraid of spiders, um, it's probably not gonna be the game for you. Um, I'm gonna enjoy myself because I hate spiders. <laughs> so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. I'm probably gonna scream a lot for that game. So if you're eager for some chaos, <laughs> then Kill It With Fire is probably gonna be a good one. So, okay, you guys have a wonderful night. Oh, let me go ahead and arrange this. Have a wonderful night. Why, why is this not working the way I want it to? Hello? I keep shifting. Have a wonderful night <laughs> for everyone. Bye, Gabriel. Bye, MJ. Bye, all of my cutie pies. I hope you have a wonderful night. And I will see you next time. Oh, no, you're fine, Halen. Don't worry, don't worry. And I will see you next time um, on Sunday. Let me go ahead and move over my screens. I don't think my stream deck is working tonight. Oh, well, that's fine. Have a good night, guys. Bye.